going on by some girls, so I'll come back to the... Uh... Right, see if we can bottle for this, you ready? Do get close? Actually, sure, let's do it in here. Ready? Yeah, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are at, I apologise for the wind. Today we are at Event TT. We have come all the way from Leicester to be here. We are now in, where is it, Warwickshire? We spent the best part of the morning cleaning this. Uh, I want to take some more photos of this as well later on. Probably, I don't. Yeah, today we are here at the British Motor Museum in Warwickshire. I'm actually buzzing to get around here. People have already been in there, so it's really good. But we are joined, let me show you guys. We are joined by a hell of a lot of TTs. Just, uh, yeah, every every single one of them are TTs. Not this, it's like three rows, like three rows. I've also put myself in the showing shop. We yet entered into it anyway, but yeah. This meet is hosted by the TT Owners Club, which is just over here. And like I said, I literally spent two days cleaning this car. Like, I'm so happy with how the paintwork is. Like, the paintwork on this car was not very good. And I, I actually, like, I booked it because I thought I'd be all right with a, one of them the, the things. Did that, completely destroy the paintwork. And then shout out to Marco as well that literally lives, lives next door to us. He helped me fix the paint on this. The paintwork is, mm, just look at it. Dude, you can see the future, it's that fucking shiny, bro. Whoa, what? But yeah, I've just cleaned the engine bay. I would normally have like a little thing that says like the Quattro Sport on here, but I've left that home. I couldn't really be asked to put it on. Like I said, we were literally finishing up this, like polishing it up this morning. But I'm now going to catch, get the bonnet catch, stick it on here, and then we're going to actually go and have a look around all these other cars. Because like I said, we have been here for a long time and we I literally haven't recorded anything obviously as you can tell because we've just got here There is a cute few Quattro Sports as well Around but yeah, also I keep saying also I just want to give a huge shout out to anybody that's come up and spoke to me today It's, it's actually sick like people that say like they've bought a Quattro Sport or looking for a Quattro Sport or they bought a 225 Just because they've saw like or I've influenced them buying a 225 or a TT. It's so cool like congratulations to everybody that has bought a TT, welcome to the club and enjoy your money pit. Yeah, we're currently inside at the minute. Um, how this kind of vlog's gonna play out, do a little bit of this. I know you guys obviously watch the videos for the TT, so the main kind of thing is gonna be for the TTs. But I wanted to come and have a look inside and show you guys maybe a few things in here, just in case you've not been in it. I don't wanna spoil everything. I don't wanna be like, guys, look at that, oh my God. I don't wanna do that because I wanna leave it kind of a surprise if you guys ever want to come to this place there's a lot of nice cars as well there's like a few ferraris as well in the car park that i'll show you guys in a minute like, this is pretty cool the fucking girth on this you no know, this is when dish this is when dish was like not stance boy this is like that's actual like proper needs dude that's cool side exhaust it's quad exhaust jesus christ dude proper old school racing that's mad. Yeah, this is a concept. Oh my god, look. It's a concept, cameras. Yeah. Are they cameras? Yeah. yeah. Look at it inside, concept, dude. Yeah. Something's stripped from the wall. The seats are like made out of wood, I think. I, I think. That's probably why that's like that then. Like, look at it, it's that's so weird. Like that. What the hell is going on, dude? Oh, these are. Oh! <gasps> oh my. These are land speed record cars. 170 miles an hour, and this was done in 1954. Jeez, man. Bro, your head is just there. Do you feel safe with that? No, like. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, it's mad, isn't it? Jet engines, isn't it? Are they? No, they're not. No. I know. Yeah. Nothing. Like there's no room. No. Like little vents. <laughs> it's just there. Yeah, but look how. Look at that. Yeah, but look. 255 miles an hour, 1957. Look at. Oh my. Like it's not even funny. There's a couple of cars in here that everyone's gonna know. Everyone's gonna know. Well, we've got this. We'll have a look at that in a minute, but. 
Like everybody knows this dude. If you don't know this, this is like the Pink Panther car. I think she's it, I don't I don't know, but yeah. Boy. This is cool. This is so cool man. Like you see in the TV when you're a kid, like you don't really think much of it, and then you come and you can see it like in real life. And it's got the like double wheels on and it's got the no you can't see the wheels at the back. Like it's so cool. I rate that. Oh it's not even it's dad. It's not Pink Panther. <laughs> It's fun to <laughs> Rip. And you got the DeLorean. With a flux capacitor in the back. You guys can't see it, sorry. Oh. Does anybody else get nervous about these things? Do you get nervous? It's an escalator. I get nervous all the time. How do you get Oh. It's a coffee shop. It is just a cup. Um. Yeah, that's not what I thought. Right, let's literally, literally just go straight back down. That was fun. That was really fun. That wasn't bad. Yeah. That wasn't bad. Should we do the Ferraris? On, I want to go and have a look at the Ferraris. Have a look at the Ferraris. <laughs> so yeah, that weren't too bad to be fair. Like I said, I didn't want to show you guys too much because otherwise there'll be no point in coming. It's definitely something for the older people like him uh, and probably your granddad but but you got my no I've got my keys you know that moment where you just like absolutely panic because you've lost your keys but <laughs> not actually lost my keys if you're not a Ferrari guy like your boy over here um, this oh look at oh, we'll have a look at we'll have a look at these first I'm getting distracted by that nice little RS5 next to it but yeah this is a 488 normal obviously just a normal Ferrari and then next to it is a 488 Speciale these are major they're like the racing version basically of the Ferraris so yeah full carbon fibre literally everywhere Now we've had a look inside, we've had a look at the Ferraris, we've had a look at the Audi RS5s. It is now time, yeah, that's affordability. affordability is right here and as well this is the whole reason why we came. So we better start having a look around. I apologise as well if I can't get every single person in the vlog, otherwise the vlog, the vlog will be like 50 minutes long and no one's going to be watching that. But let's have a quick sum through. So obviously we have got a full array of cars. Your boys is all the way down in that direction. I wish I kind of had something more kind of central, and then obviously everyone's going to be looking at it. Just seeing a nice little uh, quadruple spot there as well. Uh, blue one looks like the same as mine. But yeah, I'm going to pick out little bits of different cars that are here, such as this black one. Nice BBLMs. Shout out Mateusz. But yeah, got the baseball leather interior as well. This is rare if you did not know. Cool. Gotta be a nice guy and just show appreciation to the Quattro Sports right here. Finally, some of them actually managed to get out of the garage. This is pretty standard to be fair, which is nice to see. And the Quattro Sport. It's got the seats as well. Nice. Uh, oh, really? Um, it's got R8 brakes, but they've got a poor, poor stickers on. Jesus wept. Eight pot, oh my god. Um, full pot clutch, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, full built steam coil over kit. Yeah. Full uh, cat. Yeah. Um, what else have we got, Mike? Uh, <laughs> 17,000 quid's worth of bits on it. Really? Jesus Christ. Was it fully standard when you bought it then? I bought it a month ago. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Half a time. Got a feeling 282 is going to be my number. That's number. Come on! I want to win everything! I feel as though I need to take my glasses off just to make sure I'm focused. <laughs> focused. I said, I said, 281 is going to be my winner. 282 is going to be my winner. 281. That is mad. Tie dressing. Interior shampoo. That's pretty good. Uh, Vinyl and rubber care. That's sick. Smile. One yes. Literally can't believe what's just happened. 
Uh, literally the f like the last thing of the event. My number was called out and I got, so this just looks like a, a tissue, which is what well, it is. MOT and wheel alignment at Quattro Tech. St. Ives. Now, the avid viewer of my channel will know that your boy has been quadro set before with this car just here. So I had a full remap on dad's car. But obviously we're not going up for that, we're going up for the MOT which is not due till <laughs> like next year. But that doesn't matter because we're still going to be getting it done and as well it'll be a nice video to go and see Quattro Tech again and see what are some of the nice cars and potentially even go out in some of the cars that are there. A lot of people are going but I'm going to give you a quick guy like run round of some of the cars that are here before everyone does leave because people yeah people are leaving so I'm going to go run round so if you stay to the end your car will be on video but if if not you, it's not video. I'll do our own little segment for you yeah? No, yeah no come on so how old are you? 64. 64 guys, our oldest viewer of the channel. <laughs> it's a uh, special edition as you mentioned last year, wasn't it? Oh yes it was, it's, that's uh, right. Uh, what do you call it? A competition. A competition. 15 in the UK at that car. Really? Just, is it just yellow then? In the yellow, yeah. Yeah. Look at them seats, wow. So like I showed you guys earlier, some, like earlier in the video you can get these baseball leather which means obviously baseball it's how they're stitched together but yeah that's why that that's where that name kind of comes from but look how nice it is the yellow stitching runs all the way through doesn't it it does so there's another car here as well that's literally you probably saw in the background but next to the yellow tt which is this this is the car that always steals the show and that's the owner just behind it just here yeah, this car always steals the show. As you can probably tell, it's it's quite a nice car to be fair. Like I'm not gonna lie, blue Are you infinity. Pictures? I'm literally taking a video right now, right now. So you got to say hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Come on then, talk to me about your car. Oh, I spent about forty grand, didn't it? Since I bought it brand new. Yeah. Um, done a lot of modifications to it. I don't know if you've seen. Uh, is it? Did you did you have it wrapped? I don't yeah. really, I can't really tell, no I'm joking, it's, it's, it's blue chrome. Blue chrome <laughs> yeah. That's all the modifications I've had done to it. Bloody hell. Nice little boss on wheels as well. And then you've got oh, a huge like snake that. on the front of it. <laughs> as well. Oh look all the blue LEDs. Yeah. Oh they're it's cool. Especially done customised, both foot wheels. Oh yeah. Look at that. You probably can't see. But... Corners, all four corners. And down the centre. Yeah look at that. So in, at night, with the roof up. Yeah, is it proper like blue inside? Down, it's, it's just a blue hue. Oh, that's cool. This caught my eye. So this is like a Quattro Sport-esque. Obviously, it's not a Quattro Sport. But I can appreciate it. Is it a wrap? No way. Oh no, it's painted, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me, guys. Oh, I really don't know. This is confusing. <laughs> it's got the Quattro Sport seats, but I don't know. I should really know. It's not of me. But yeah, Quattro Sport wheels are very similar. Look at these overcovers. This makes it a little bit more mean. That's nice. Another one. Quattro Sport. Here. Which is owned by this guy just over here. <coughs> oh. Look at that best engine bay showing off. That's cool. You can get these as well. Get them off. I need to get them. Look how cool they are. I think I've got something similar to them as well, so it's almost like it match. Then you've got this cool strut brace. No idea what it is. I know these are like stupidly rare though, the ones that are good. But if you were to have one of them, I say it's rare. Old oh, front uh, reset valve, I rate that. It's cool, loads of little touches like that. TT on the end of the dipstick, polished in that manifold. That is, that is cool. You know what? I know there's going to be a lot of people, obviously, watching this video that own TTs and stuff like that. And I want to put one question to you. One question I'd like to ask is that if you could have a Quattro Sport, so mine is the Quattro Sport. You could have it in any colour, but the only colours that you can, I say any colour, but there's only like I think there's four colours. So there's mine, the Mauritius blue. There is the silver, very much. And like uh, this red, there's a red one like all over there, 
Uh, there's a black one, and there's another, it's called like an Avis Silver, that I showed you earlier when that guy had the RA brakes. Which one would you have? Like which one, would you have something that contrasts? So like mine, how the blue contrasts the black, or would you have something that's like black all around? And if you were to have like, say for example the blue, what colour would you do the wheels? Would you leave the wheels standard or would you leave them doing black? I've got to get this on, I've got this on camera. I promised him I would get it on camera. So, pretty sure 225, obviously twin exhaust, because we don't want none of that single exhaust stuff, because that is, we don't want that. Oh, look at this engine bay. Oh, I rate that. The fact that he's painted that himself, done all the little bits himself, painting the coolant, uh, the coolant cap, this cap, the oil cap. That is cool. The yellow as well to match. Engine dress up kit. Oh, look, he's even painted that as well to match. That's so cool. More little gold bits as well to match. I love that. I think that's why I like these cars so much. These like 225s and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my Quattro Sport. Like, yeah, just these cars, like the 225s, are, are cheap. You can maybe pick one up for like £2,000 with all right, like decent history and stuff. But, like, if you wanted to do anything yourself, it's not expensive to do. But, like, you could literally buy one and just, like, paint shit like that. Like that guy over there. Like, it's all about spending time. I mean, you could involve your kids, spending time with your kids as well. Like, get them into cars as well it's just so sick and that's what something i want so to buy a 225 such as like they're all gone a 225 and just go as crazy as like paul's done here like just take this for example this car has had fucking maybe 25 grand spent on it or something but super leggero wheels it's on air it's even got bigger brakes at the back oh Monster truck now. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. That is nice. That's like fully. That's so sick. Full custom interior. Look at this. Alcantara, everything. Super cool wheel. Where did you get the wheel from? Oh, it's carbon fiber as well. Look. Custom control. I literally love it in here. It's like a spaceship. Can we show them your boot build? Yeah, it's filled with all your trophies. It's just filled with all your trophies. <laughs> so, you probably can't see, but just underneath here, LEDs. Like, I find that so cool. So this is all Alcantara, isn't it? This is, oh, well, this is Alcantara as well. Everywhere. 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 Oh my God, it is. Alcantara everything. That's the best way. This is cool. I really do rate this. Whoever did this did a very good job. Top company, RSV Graphics. RSV Graphics, shout out. Look at the inside though, guys. Oh, this has been, oh my God. Yeah, there isn't one bit. Oh yeah, the car's called Super Ted as well, for you guys that didn't know. By your feet. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's all Alcantara as well. All that as well, the struts. Oh, that is cool. I really do rate it. This is this is what when when I've got a bit more money, I think I'm gonna be like you. I'm just gonna just yeah, just full send on everything. If it's not chrome, it's gonna be carbon fiber. If it's not carbon fiber, it's gonna be wrapped carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah, if it's, <laughs> if it's not carbon fiber, it's gonna be titanium. You watching me, guys? That's it. I gotta go. You heard her. You heard her, didn't you? What did you say? You gotta go. Right, guys, that's it. Um, look at her. Look at her. Amazing. Amazing. I'm so happy with how this car looks today, especially with the sun on it. And obviously, look at it, dude. Look at it. Oh my god, dude. Look. No holograms. What do you mean? Holograms, what do you mean? What holograms, bro? <laughs> I'm actually so hyped. Like, it's actually sick. I'm gonna get going. But yeah, I just wanna say a huge shout out to everybody that came and spoke to me today. Doing this YouTube thing, obviously, feel as though it seems a little bit lonely sometimes. 
obviously you make videos and you put them out and you kind of don't see obviously you get feedback and stuff like that but you don't see it from person but actual people coming up to you and like that guy as well they're just over here that said like he's one of my oldest viewers at like 65 or something like that that is so sick that like, i don't think you get like what the hell 65 dude but yeah uh, i'm gonna get going guys Mia is knackered. I'm knackered. Mia's been asleep, like literally just on the floor. But yeah. Oh, that sounds naughty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today has been an awesome day. I'm really hoping that you guys did enjoy this as well. I'm sorry if it is a really long video, which it probably is, because there's a lot of people that I had to talk to. to but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Josh. This has been Dad. Dad, say goodbye. <laughs> Lauren, say goodbye. Mia, say goodbye. <laughs> and that, boys and girls, was my POV. Peace out. Oh, no, yeah. This is uh, Nem's car. <laughs> there you go, Nem. You happy? You happy, Nem? Look, it's got black exhausts. You happy, Nem? You happy? Can I go home now, please? Thank you. <laughs>